Royal fans were always sceptical that there was ever a miscarriage, and this nonsense in the book confirms it. If the miscarriage had actually happened, Harry wouldn't have a normal, pretty mundane anecdote to tell about it, like every other person that's been through it. In his book, Prince Harry penned an emotional passage about the days following wife Meghan Markle's miscarriage. We left the hospital with our unborn child, a tiny package. We went to a place, a secret place, only we knew, he wrote. Under a spreading banyan tree, while Meg wept, I dug a hole with my hands and set the tiny package softly into the ground. But people are slowly picking this scenario apart. Banyan trees don't grow in California. Hospitals don't give you a box with a dead fetus in it. You can't successfully bury anything with your bare hands. And people are pissed because this is not a scenario people should be lying about. Meghan Markle's account of a miscarriage is strange as well. Instead of rushing for medical help when she felt the cramping, she kneeled on the floor holding Archie and cried with him. She could have maybe prevented early labour by getting medical help ASAP. In November 2020, Meghan opened up about her pregnancy loss in an op-ed for the New York Times. After changing Archie's diaper, I felt a sharp cramp. I dropped to the floor with him in my arms, humming a lullaby to keep us both calm. The cheerful tune a stark contrast to my sense that something just wasn't right, noting that her son was 18 months old at the time. I knew as I clutched my firstborn child that I was losing my second. I felt the clamminess of Harry's palm and kissed his knuckles, wet from both of our tears. Staring at the cold white walls, my eyes glazed over. I tried to imagine how we'd heal. The Harry and Meghan documentary and the article Meghan wrote have conflicting details. The documentary shows a friend saying Meghan fell down outside, but she wrote that she fell to her knees in the kitchen, holding Archie while singing a lullaby. But she was also fishing crayons from underneath tables, so that was a mess too. Harry's story makes people sceptical about Meghan's pregnancies, with one saying, I totally think that she was never pregnant. Everything about it made no sense, and I hate to say it, but she didn't look pregnant at all. I understand that people look different, but she seriously looked like she was wearing a fake suit. The second added, she didn't miscarry at all. I doubt she was even pregnant. Or it's a case like Hilary Baldwin, where the surrogate miscarried and Hilaria faked that she did herself. The made-up story of I had a cramp while I was singing Archie a lullaby clutching him on the floor was plagiarised from another book, and then in the Netflix horror show, she said she was giving a tour to her friend Abigail that the actress had cramps and miscarried. Now the doctor, pathologist and hospital are going to have to respond to this because someone is telling a big lie. Or the hospital has broken the law. Others slammed Harry for this nonsense story. One said, The story's bullshit. My husband is a practicing physician. I am a nurse. I had four miscarriages. Two ectopic pregnancies that ruptured. It's illegal for a hospital in the US to release a body to anyone and let you walk out of the door. The fantasy life of these nuts is frightening.